Hello, 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 Libra. Thank you for being here. Thank you for hitting that like button. Go ahead and subscribe also. You know, click that bell button so you know when I'm going live. Because when I go live, I answer your questions. I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My name is Elle, and I'm here to do your weekly reading. All right, let's get into it. Thank you, God, for blessing Libra with a clear, concise message from you. All right, let's see what's going on for Libra this week. What's happening for my Libras this week? The Six of Cups. All right, so something with children or just simpler times. You're you're in a place of nostalgia. You're in a place of thinking about the past. Um, needing to declutter either your emotions, your home, or something of that nature. Um, going backwards, connecting backwards roots. Some of you are actually having your children visit you or visit your home. So that's very good. Let's see what's going on for Libra this week. Four of Wands. Yeah, it looks like peace, home, in your home, your home life, especially mother and children or mother and child, uh, motherly energy, woman energy here, roots again. So some of you are going back to your roots or you're going to do something with a mother or you are a mother or it's more so maybe even um, having everyone at your home. Wow, the Fool card, some really good energy. Um this could even be going on a journey or talking about going on a journey with a group of women here, too. Um, taking a leap of faith into the unknown. You could have a friend come over your house. The death card. Let's see. What is this? The hermit and the ace of cups. So this could be somebody that you tried to leave in the past or you were leaving in the past here. That you were trying to wrap up a cycle with uh, Scorpio, Aquarius, Leo, Taurus. But it looks like this person has resurfaced. Somebody was going through some negative life cycle. Maybe even karma or karma was going on around them. It was like you were trying to stay away from this because you didn't want anything to kind of hit home for you or touch you or be around you. Somebody died. There's a death here. And you still aren't over it. There's still a big love that you have for a particular person. It's still unanswered questions. You may be going to spiritual, spiritualist, you know, voodoo, priestess is what I'm hearing. Okay. Um, trying to get answers in terms of a particular person that passed away. Some of you are on a retreat or you're learning about yourself or learning about spirituality. You're learning about how spirituality plays a part in your life or how it can or how it can help you or enhance Whatever, whatever you've got going on. For some of you, you have more than one person living in your house. Um, yeah, occupation. Okay, so you're occupied by something. Or maybe you, you own your own business or you do some freelance work or you're thinking about doing that. Uh, let's see, what else? The false person. Okay, so um, maybe at your job, somebody's occupied with maybe talking behind your back, slander, or keeping you stuck here. Or not having movement, promotion. Yeah, the great fortune, though, is coming out for you. There's somebody here who is on your side. A concern, great fortune. They really want something for you. Uh, they really want to see you go far in your journey. Um, but again, stuck in house. For some of you, somebody's on house arrest is what I'm getting. Um, someone uh, can't travel far from the home. They're definitely on house arrest. There's somebody here who's sinking into depression because their life has changed. Could be a masculine energy. There's somebody here who is in rehab or therapy or something of that nature. Um, they have to deal with this or they're like on some type of, you know, arrested type of energy where they can't move. Um, or they can't make moves how they want to. You could feel like somebody's doing something behind your back. Maybe in terms of your career or your job or whatever it is you do for money. They're trying to hold you back. This is how you feel. Yeah, you feel like somebody is a thief. They're trying to steal something from you. You're shine, you're light, you're whatever. Um, something about promotion here with the world and the Ace of Wands. It's like you're waiting, you're waiting, and you're waiting. And it's like you're not sure if you're going to get it. So I'm getting all right. Let's let's pull one card here for this deck. I'm trying to see if I can I'm picking up anything else. It's pretty much that. Oh, 
Ooh, what does this deck? I forget the name of this deck, but what does this deck have to say to Libra? Um, not gonna even try to pronounce that word. Maybe you can. Uh, Quinix. Quinix. There we go. Uh, irritates, puzzles, mystifies, complicates, contradicts, clashes, miss the marks, requires translation, adjusts, makes curious, educates, and transforms. So it's like maybe you you feel like somebody there's like sabotage behind your back, puzzles, or something that's mystifying, or something you just don't know the the answer to. Maybe that's why you're just kind of you know on on edge about something, uh, the puzzle piece, or you feel like something is missing, or. Maybe you don't have all the facts to something here. That's why you want to let something go. Also, it's like, yeah, Venus, love, beauty, harmony, indulgence, taste, style, magnetism. So that could be you. You're ruled by, by Venus. The seventh house. So relating, relationships, companionship, partners, balance, justice, social awareness, sharing, marriage, best friends, communion. So something about a marriage. Leo could be your lover or the lover expressive creative uh, juicy egotistical uh guileless uh excessive extroverted bedazzling glowing overt so also we'll be dealing with the sagittarius too so it's just like maybe you you're in a relationship where there's a lot of eyes on on the relationship here it's in the public it's in the public light here the, the entire relationship was like you just want harmony but at the same time it's like somebody gets really egotistical um somebody wants her power okay uh, maybe in the relationship or someone feels like you have all the power it's it's something about this relationship or this particular person that puzzles you or you a puzzle piece is missing or you you, you feel like something is off or that they're lying or that you know they're, they're trying to take or this could even be at work here um something that's still complicated for you that's why you're going and looking for answers for it this is what i have for you leo i hope that it resonates where you go over to the website book your own reading there take advantage of the text question or you can text a question to the number below you can also catch me live every tuesday thursday and sunday night 9 30 p.m eastern standard time get your black tourmaline and amethyst bracelets especially if you're in the healing process if you're in a protective energy or you want something protected either your person you or something that you're you're engaging in, you want protection there. So take advantage of the bracelets. They are on sale at the website level. Uh, come learn the tarot with me. Classes are linked below. Join the channel. If you join, uh, you will receive. Um, of course, you get asked a question every month that you are a member of the channel. You'll get access to all of the extended readings. And also, if you purchase one of the bracelets, you will get the opportunity to ask me a question via the Tarot. Um, so you'll get a bracelet and a question. So take advantage, guys. All right, so that's what I have for you. Take care. Many blessings to you.